UK government lawyers are appealing to the Supreme Court to overturn a ruling on a divisive migrant deal with Rwanda. In June, London's Court of Appeal ruled that an agreement to send tens of thousands of migrants to the East African nation was unlawful. The court said Rwanda could not be considered a safe third country. There are fears that asylum seekers sent there could face persecution, making the policy unlawful under Britain's Human Rights Act. However, Rwanda had rejected the accusations and condemned the ruling. Kigali said it would continue working with the UK government on the migrant plan that was struck over a year ago. The hearing comes as the United Kingdom continues to seek ways to stop migrant crossings via the English Channel. Well, let's cross over to Paul Hawkins. He's in London for us. Paul, good to see you there. The UK top court will today hear the uh, government's appeal on Rwanda's migrant plan. What do you expect in today's hearing? Yeah, so the uh, court is already underway and it's going to last three days, this hearing. There won't be a ruling at the end of it. That'll be passed by the UK's top court in November and December. And essentially today we're going to hear the opening arguments from both sides, both lawyers representing the government and lawyers representing eight asylum seekers. And they're going to be the same competing arguments that we've heard for the past 18 months since this controversial policy was announced. And we should say that over the past 18 months, no one has been deported to Rwanda. The closest uh, was in June last year when there was a, a flight to Rwanda sitting on the tarmac, uh, waiting to fly to Rwanda from the UK. It had eight asylum seekers uh, on board from countries as diverse as Vietnam, Syria and Sudan. And then the European Court on Human Rights issued a ruling at the 11th hour blocking that flight from leaving arguing that the uh, British judges hadn't been given enough time to assess uh, or to listen to the, uh, the individual cases. And so it's been bouncing around in the UK's court system ever since. In December, uh, the uh, UK's high court, that's the second highest court, uh, ruled that the policy was legal. And then fast forward to June this year, the Court of Appeal, which sits alongside the high court, said it wasn't. And it said that uh, there were so many problems with the Rwanda's uh, asylum system that potentially anyone deported there could end up back at their country of origin which they'd left and that that would be uh, a breach of Article 3 of the European Convention uh, on Human Rights which prohibits torture and inhumane or degrading treatment. Of course the UK is signatory uh, to that convention. So we now arrive uh, back in court today. It is the UK's top court and uh, we expect them to issue their ruling in November and December. Well, Paul, you know, London's Court of Appeal concluded that the scheme to send tens of thousands of migrants to East Africa was not lawful. How has this impacted the government's strategy on migration uh, and, and migrants arriving in small boats on the English South Coast? Well, so far, this uh, legal to and froing hasn't really impacted the government's strategy. It's impacted the government's messaging on migration, which is to say, look, this is what we want to do. We want to deport uh, asylum seekers to Rwanda, where we've received assurances that it is uh, uh, safe and, and it's legal to do so. We've received assurances from the Rwandan government that they will be treated fairly and humanely. But essentially, the courts are holding us up. The European Court of Human Rights is holding us up, and we want to enact this policy, which is central to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's uh, 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 um, uh, five uh, policies that he wants to put in, his five priorities. One of them is stop the boats, and he says that Rwanda, the Rwanda policy is central to that. So whatever the Supreme Court decides in November and December, there will be huge implications politically for uh, the Prime Minister, especially with a general election on the way here in the UK in the next 12 months. Interestingly, the leader of the main opposition party in the UK, Labour, said over the weekend that were Labour to win the next election, they would reverse the policy. Uh, if the Supreme Court uh, does go ahead and say it is lawful, potentially the only route then for these eight asylum seekers and for future asylum seekers may be the European Convention on uh, Human Rights, the European Court on Human Rights. Potentially their lawyers could go there and say and, and, and make an appeal to that court. But uh, the UK government recently passed a piece of legislation called the Illegal Migration Bill, which said, which gave uh, uh, powers to the Home Secretary, the British Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, to overrule the court. And that in itself would also be open to another legal challenge.